Okay, yes, Stefano. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be sharing with you how to crochet this short. In this tutorial, I will be using this far ply in the fill yarn from Yarn Temptations. Their yarns are super soft and vibrant, and you can get it at a very affordable price. Also, for those who love center pull, they've already made it easier for you to find the tip of the yarn with this marker. We will also be using 3mm hook, pair of scissors, tape measure, weaving needle, and markers. To start, make a slip knot in chain 15. Additional two chains, it will serve as our first double crochet, and then make double crochet on the fourth chain from hook and double crochet next chain across. For the next row, start with chain 3, turn your work and make back loop double crochet in the next stitch across. Add more rows using the same process in row 2 until it's enough and make sure you have same count of stitches in every row. By the way, we are making the front part first. determine how many rows to make, measure your waist, then divide the number into two. For example, this one I'm making is for sizes 24, divided into two that's 12 and less 4 equals 8. Also make sure to stretch, try to stretch the yarn so it doesn't get loose when worn. Next step, chain 1 and make 2 single crochets in each row on this side. After that, 
that the total number of the single crochets must be an odd number including the chain 1 and then determine the center stitch and put a marker on it. For our first row, start with chain 3 and make double crochets in each of the next stitches but on the stitch with the marker, make 3 double crochets. Add more rows using the same process in row 1. Also, the purpose of the three double crochets on the center stitch is to widen the coverage. As you know, the hips is wider than the waist. To determine if the rows or coverage is enough, this part of the short should have the same length from your belly button to your crotch part. Then we will add additional 3 rows using the same process in row 1 but with additional steps. I've already started making additional row and on the center stitch, instead of making 3 double crochets, we make 1 double crochet, chain 10, Then slip stitch each chain all the way back, make one double crochet, same stitch, and then double crochet the next stitches across.
then I'm on the center of the second row of the additional three rows, we will just make double crochets in each of the chain and five double crochets on the last chain. Then continue with double crochet again till last. For our last row, we are still making double crochets in each, but on the stitch before and after the center stitch, make 3 double crochets. We've already made 3 double crochets. On the stitch before the center stitch, this is our center stitch, make only one double crochet and again three double crochet after the center stitch. Double crochet next stitches to the last. already finished the front side and it should look like this. If the front side of the short on this part is measured in 8 inch, the back part will be measured in 12 inch which is the other half of the measurement of our waist. Also, it is wider because the bum needs more coverage. For the back part, we will just repeat the very same process on the front part. 
but on the last row we will again have additional steps. We are now on the last row of the back part and still the same path we will be making the same process with the front part but the 5 center stitch will be attached on the 5 center stitch of the front part. After that it should look like this and then measure this part and this part should fit around your thigh. If the measurement already fits on your thigh, slip stitch to join the two and if it's not enough, just add chains before slip stitching. Next step will be in rounds, start with chain 3 and make double crochets in each of the next stitches. Finish round 1 slip stitch on the third chain. Repeat round 1 7 more times or more if you want it to be lengthy and then make additional row of single crochet.
for the other side, attach your yarn here and repeat the same process. After making those rounds, we will now be making the spaces for our lace. To start, attach your yarn here and chain one and make single crochets in each of the next stitches and two single crochets in each of the rows. Next step, chain 4, skip 1 and make 4 double crochets on the next 4 stitches. Again, chain 1, skip 1 and make 4 double crochets in the next 4 stitches. Repeat all through. is not enough on this part just chain 3 slip stitch on the center and again chain 3 and continue making the four double crochets with spaces in between parallel to the first one Or you may skip that step and just continue with the four double crochets with the spaces in between but make sure the spaces is parallel to the first one. To 
finish the row, chain 4, and slip stitch on the very last stitch. Then chain 1, tighten and cut the yarn. For the lace, I just double pulled my yarn and used a bigger size of hook and made a chain of at least 250. If you like this video, please subscribe and smash that like button and bell button for you to get notified on my future uploads. Thank you for watching!